We begin tonight with a scare on a playground at a Nanaimo school. A kindergarten student found fentanyl last week and brought it home. As Anna McMillan reports, her mother is speaking out, worried it's only a matter of time before an elementary student overdoses. Five-year-old Everly Miller found this baggie at an Nanaimo school on Friday morning. Consuming what was inside could have killed her. So that was um, terrifying. The kindergarten student's mother got the contents tested, revealing a mixture containing fentanyl and benzodiazepine. The potent powder was picked up by the swings at Ecole Quarterway Elementary. So if my daughter had have ingested this in class, she would have died before a teacher could get an ambulance there to save her. Andrea Miller says she had no idea what her child had found until Everly got home and started playing with the packet with her two-year-old brother. I could have lost one or both of my children. As symptoms of the opioid and housing crises seep onto school grounds, she says Nanaimo Ladysmith Public Schools has been quick to respond. Safety of our students and staff are utmost priority. The school district is installing security cameras at Quarterway, reminding kids to tell an adult if they find something and is performing additional sweeps of school grounds throughout the day. So that we're not finding empty bottles, which we often do, uh, cans. Uh, there have been instances is where our principals are cleaning up human feces. And thankfully, um, some parents have stepped up and have said, um, I can help. The district says every secondary school carries naloxone, but that's not the case for its elementary schools. The fact that a life-saving measure is not a given and available in every school appalls me. The district says it's assessing the need to train staff at every school to administer naloxone. Something Miller says could prevent the worst case scenario. I got to experience what it would be like to know that your kids could have died. And I don't want anyone else to ever feel that way. Anna McMillan, CTV News.